Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Mole Trap here with Baby versus Movie. It sounded really cool in my ears because, like, there was a sweet music going on and all that hardcoreness. Anyway, Baby versus Movie. This is going to be another group deciding match from the Korean Air OSL round 16. Group B. And that is uh, Baby, Hwashin, Movie, and Stork. So basically what's going on here is a Baby is up 2-0 in his group. Yes, 2-0. And uh, Hwashin's at 1-2, Movie's at 1-1, and Stork is at 1-2. So what that means is that this game is very, very important for all parties involved. Because if Baby wins this game, then that means there's a three-way tie between the other three people in the group and then there will be tiebreaker matches. If Movie wins, then he will be at 2-1 and Baby will be at 2-1 and both of them will advance. So Baby scores either way. Baby's set right now. I, even if he loses, he could just like, you know, fast expand and cancel his command center and GG and leave the game and he would still advance to the next round. Um, but uh, he still probably wants to get the win just for the recognition sake of it. I mean, he's been tearing stuff up. Terran fools up left and right. Turn up nerds. 1.5 times his age. Um, <laughs> he's been he's been just owning people left and right. Baby's on fire right now, and um, so we'll see if he can beat Movie though. And uh, should be a fun match. It looks like it's gonna be. Uh, well, I won't say anything. Never mind. Um, anyway. Movie versus baby it should be should be fun stuff definitely. This is gonna be a TVP, <clears throat> and it's gonna be on. Oh, let's check what map this is gonna be on. This is gonna be on Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm. So we'll have to see what happens. Obviously, someone was telling me that once. I think it might have been Joe. He was like, No, maybe it wasn't Joe. Who was it? Someone was saying like, I hate it when commentators say we'll have to see because it's kind of obvious that we will have to see. Yes, but um. You know, I gotta be honest, sometimes uh, I've gotten pretty good over the years at um, having things to talk about all the time, but sometimes you just don't have anything to say. So you just gotta fill some stuff in there. So so we'll see, it's a good, it's a good transition out of a thought that you don't really know how to, how to conclude, basically. Um, we've got movie, by the way, the bottom right hand corner, orange Protoss, we've got baby, bottom left hand corner. Uh, the Terran player, I guess it's kind of a yellow, yellow kind of color, yeah, yellow. Um, anyway, yeah, Movie has got his work cut out for him here, because Baby has really been playing extremely well lately. Um, he has just been, uh, beating some really high-level players as well. I mean, he beat, um, Stork recently, he beat, uh, he's 2-1-0 in the group. He's beaten, he's on a, let's see, he's on a 1-2-3... Four, five, six game win streak lately, beating Stork, Jadong, Jalizer, Quashin, 4GG, and Haya in a few leagues. And then he had a loss uh, in the Pro League after beating Jadong twice in a row in the OSL and eliminating him from the OSL. So, Baby is really, this, this last month, he has been doing crazy good. Um, really, really well. Um, Movie, on the other hand, How's Napa doing quite as well? He um, he had his run at the uh, OSL last season, and you know he did his thing, and that was it. I mean he's he's been winning a lot lately, I guess. Um, he beat uh, Hogil in the Pro League. He beat Stork in the OSL, just the, in the, in this group, of course. And uh, let me just double check back at the game here. Oh, we got a fast nexus. Ha! I was looking at stats of the, just the game running in the background. Um, <laughs> I should probably look out for things like that. We've got a fast nexus here. Uh, looks like a 12 nexus build. So a little bit risky by by movie because if baby spots this um, early on, let's see which way the scout's gonna go. Is this scout gonna go? No! Oh, I was hoping his scout would go over there. Could have been a very short game. Maybe if he saw, if he'd seen that um, that fast nexus, probably would have um, 
would have rushed it and just uh, you know attacked with some maybe maybe with some SCVs, but he he's got the factory going, so he could get vultures and marines and just go after that. Um, anyway. Yeah, so, but yeah, movie, he's, he's won a few games recently, he beat, um, Bisu once, although he lost to Bisu once in the MSL. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's that probe doing? Probe, what are you doing? Um, that's kind of strange. It looks like he's going to try and go in and get a scout. No, he sees those marines, so he doesn't want his probe to die. The marines are kind of, uh, they don't want to open up the door and let the probe sneak in, but they also want to try and kill that probe if possible. So he's not really moving out too much there. Baby's gonna scout him way, way, way late. But um, because of those Marines there, um, Movie is also not gonna be able to get any scout on Baby whatsoever. He's actually sending out a couple zealots now. So um, he has pretty much pulled off the 12 Nexus. There's nothing Baby can do at this point. And what is Baby's SCV doing? Oh, he's checking the middle, I guess, for proxies as he's going down to that bottom, bottom right location. Um, but yeah, now he's gonna be able to get out units and be able to make use of his expansion, his quick expansion. So he is gonna be in really good shape. Anyway, Movie um, also had some kills in the Winner's League, but like I had mentioned before, he's been beating players that weren't terribly good. Um, I mean, he he three killed uh, uh, Air Force Ace, which isn't that big of an accomplishment. Um, so even though his wins look like a lot, um, you know, really the only win I'm going to give him total credit for as being a good win is Stork recently. Um, other than that, you know, he's been baiting players that he kind of should beat. Bisu is really off right now, so he's kind of a wild card. You can't really tell if that's someone he should beat or not. Anyway, um, but point being, I think that... <laughs> Now that I've been explaining it for five minutes, point being, I believe that um, Baby has the advantage in this game. Although, Movie now has an economic advantage from that. He took a risk on that 12 next, and it paid off. It paid off big time for him, so he's able to get a, a much quicker um, expansion out and try and get an economic advantage there. So that's exactly what he has, and, and he's managed to defend it as well by getting those Dragoons out. Um... Oh, nice, nice, little, nice little micro there with the vulture. Get a couple hits on those zealots. Not gonna accomplish much in the end, of course. But um, look at that. He's got his forces out in front, and then uh, if uh, so, that if a zealot tries to run it or something like that, you can kill it. But if oh, massive yawn just like totally took me over. Well, never mind. He just moved his forces back. But I was gonna say then if dragoons came in, then he could just um fall back behind the mines and hopefully tempt movie into those mines. Anyway, uh, movie, uh, yeah, like I said, after um, after losing to Flash in those finals, he really kind of fell off and just was not beating much of anyone for for a while until he got a few kills against uh, some people in Winter's League. But um, anyway. <coughs> Yeah, sometimes I'll uh, I'll even do that when I'm like just uh, watching games just for fun. I'll uh, <coughs> I'll just you know I'll be watching the game and then I'll kind of flip over to s s another window. And what I'll do is I'll list actually listen to the Korean commentators um, talking in the background. And even though I don't understand Korean at all, I'll just listen to them in the background and I'll be able to tell when something's going on. So if they start getting excited, I can hear it and I can switch back to the game. Or I can, of course, not just listen to the commentators, but I can listen to um, the, the sounds of the game. So if I hear, you know, Marines firing and Zealots dying or whatever, I can switch back and watch it. I do that sometimes. But um, <laughs> you don't actually catch too much of the game that way. Uh, but it, it's kind of a it's a way to just kind of like watch things in the background like if I'm eating breakfast or something and I want to I don't know check out reddit at the same time I don't know what I'm talking about we got a citadel going here so that makes sense for a movie to just um, usually with that 12 next um, you end up getting tech a little bit too late to do any kind of harass um, and it looks like baby's actually already set up he's already got turrets um, set up for an anti DT harass so that's pretty good of him um, they're actually in an okay position uh, well yeah though they're, they're pretty much a sort of anti DT is what they're set up for um, but it makes sense for him to just go straight to the Templar tech or possibly the Arborers we'll see what he decides to go for. 
Um, oh. But it, you're, if you were to go like for a reaver harass, for instance, it would be too late. You get your reavers out too late to, to actually do any major harassment. The, the Terran's gonna have to more forces up by then, so it doesn't make sense. So it makes more sense to just go straight for the late game, basically. Um,